Oh, I know you pray for us. Mm -hmm. yeah. Of course. Yes, Lord, we bless your holy name. Mm. Lord, we lift you up in our hearts, in our conversation, mm. and in our thoughts. And Lord, may our very lives be lifted up to you, mm. Father, as something we want to give to you, Lord. Mm. Something that we do not claim as our own. Mm. Uh, or in a sense, returning what rightfully belongs to you. Mm. And may this be more than uh, words or even just passionate feeling in us, but may it be uh, evident in the way that we live, mm. or the way that we make decisions, mm. the, the way that we consider things valuable or uh, not worthy of our attention and involvement. Uh, Lord, in this way, we we want to be enlightened, mm. truly enlightened and led by your spirit. Mm. And uh, again, Lord, this is not something we want to be a uh, mere theory mm. or doctrine, uh, but we want it to be life to us. Mm. And Lord, certainly a part of your design that this be learned uh, within a community of people, mm. a body of believers. Mm. And this you have certainly blessed us with. And mm. uh, may we never fall into an unhealthy mode of familiarity with that. Mm. And uh, rather uh, nurture within us a mm. what might be a healthy and genuine and good familiarity with mm. uh, your spirit and the way that it works and moves and functions in us mm. and that that would be that would be our our habitual practice that would be what is uh our place of uh, uh what our I, I hesitate to say comfortable place or because often your spirit mm. leads us to places that mm. are uncomfortable to our soul and certainly to our flesh mm. but may we nonetheless find a, a confidence in it mm. and uh, always be expectant mm. even joyfully so of what you have in store for each day mm. i do bless this time and uh, the willing heart of this brother mm. and continue to pray that would be a blessing to us as we engage in it together and even Mm. Blessing of those who listen in. Mm. I pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name. Mm. Give a, a brief thank you, Noah, with a prayer. So, give a brief yeah. review. We're talking about um, the ways of Confucius' the teachings, meaning about um, self nourishment or nurturing of a virtue by ourselves, then bring equity to the family, bring order or governance to the nation, to the people, and bring peace to the world. In order to do that, we recognize that there are um, some um, principled way how this is progressively built up from personal virtue to, um, you know, a wonderful um, community and a, f uh, a family, and then to become a um, you know a prosperous and righteous people. Then we then we able to let the whole world be benefited by peace, righteousness, and goodness. We also emphasize this uh, the vision or the kind of progressive way that implied or sometimes even stated were clearly in the Bible, like um, Jesus taught about we are to be sons to, of God to learn the, his kingdom, right? So, um, you know, put down our natural man, in a sense, and the desire for 
passions and false pursuits, even sinful pursuits in the world. Um, and then turn, he is a righteousness. So that's obviously, as the sons of God, is a princely calling or heirship calling, whereas the inheritance to this heirship and this hope to this calling is not this world, rather it's the internal and the spiritual realm. It's life of God, also the weight of God, with it the glory and the future of God, life in God, in a sense. Now, <coughs> similarly, we <coughs> emphasize part of Confucian teaching is also a princely teaching, that is teaching royal sons, and uh, the expect that basically you know how to rule nation, rule you know bring order and prosperity and righteousness to the world. Recognize also, um, in order to do that, one must be a worthy ruler, and start with in one's own heart, then discipline of everyday life to attain under those prepared virtues, prepared understandings. So we on the this part called how to get those virtues. We mentioned part of that. Let me hold on. Let me this brief mention. There's three excellent virtues called the wisdom, called the love, or um, some uh, other versions called the benevolence. You know, so the kind of love is not in a sense um, always uh, map it up horizontally, rather vertically, if you will. Recently, I discovered this this uh, this will of thinking, <laughs> again, again, being affirmed by other people's expressions. What it means is that it's a generational, also, it's a positional, there is an impartation. So anyway, this will of love requires relations to be built up in a word, particular way, we can call it righteousness, Confucius continually called, in the Bible called the righteousness relationship, but in Confucius called propriety, you know, things of good order settlements. The Bible uses concepts as well in different analogies, you know, like a body, like a garden, and other um, places talking about this different members of the body might come together. Anyway, the third excellent virtue is courage or some kind of bravery. Now, this bravery, again, is not about uh, impulsive, um, you know, um, um, kind of a bravery. Rather, it's a bravery to, to, to face your own mistakes, to crack your own mistakes, and achieve excellence. You don't give up. It's, in a sense, it's a fortitude, right? So it's a, a determination and devotion to accomplish something. So how do I attain all these three excellent virtues? Confucius, uh, this author identify Confucius teaching, some different ways. First, you need to be very honest or even transparent with yourself. How to do that is uh, through self-reflection or meditation, right? You got to know yourself before you're able to to crack your own attitudes, your own ways, and know the condition your own heart. The, in order to do that, you must uh, be shendu, I means be careful or be sober-minded when you by yourself. This sober-minded is more than not doing wrong thing in private quarters, but rather spend your time um, into excellent things like uh, reflection, meditation, you know, like uh, um, which means we are uh, able to examine myself on three things, you know, daily. Then, then examination obviously has to be done quietly or uh, in, in time by yourself, you know, so look at yourself. Also learn fortitude, learn to be persistent, learn to carry things through. Um, 
you know, that is part of um, the kind of character obviously needed in, in order to accomplish something. You start something, want to finish it, and then achieve the goal you set yourself for. If there is a goal, then it's all the vision that is given and you receive by heart. You want to do that, you know, obviously you're going to mistakes, making mistakes, much like we talk about the shooting arrow. You're not going to be good at it, you know, in the beginning, but you needed to learn to try. And uh, then part of the trying process is more than to be accurate with your shooting on the bullseye, but also correct the wrong pattern, wrong ways, whatever causes a deviation, all right? So to everything, there is excellent way. There is a proper way. And uh, that required to modify ourselves or change ourselves to 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 adapt to to conform to those excellent ways. So today we're gonna on the that's the last topic of the repentance or so change yourself. You know, change the wrongdoing. Right what is wrong. So in from there let's start the section as a continuation. Uh, it's recorded, I uh, said in analytics, Kofu Zhu said, Zhu Zhong Xin, Wu Yu Bru Ji Zhe, Guo Zhe Wu Dan Gai. Translation here, Zhu means to exercise um, lordship, you know, or um, to insist upon, to fortify, to be established. Yo means to make friends. Its translation should be it's to insist on or occupy the principle of uh, faithfulness and credibility, or we call the fidelity and commitment. Do not make friends uh, that is, you know, going to deteriorate your way of learning and righteous um, behaviors, you know, so she means to learn the way. Literally, it's the Bible talking about the do not harm the wrong, the bad company, you know, bad companies corrupt us. So then the last statement is that it means if you did something wrong, do not be afraid to to right your wrongs um and another place in analyze confucius said means if you made a mistake but refuse to really change it or to remedy it that is a real mistake you know so uh, that is a amazing statement thinking about it you know the mistake real mistake in life is when you know something wrong about you or something wrong indeed you don't want to 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 to, to do anything about it you know so yeah so this is um <coughs> excuse me <coughs> just look back more than this everyday people everyday behaviors Looking back, also the kind of rulers cause great damage to the people, to the society in history. You know, so uh, so talking about the two major bad emperors or kings uh, that the, the Confucius said basically uh, they would not hold themselves accountable for the thing they they did wrong. Therefore their downfall are sudden and complete. There, there are those, the good rulers mentioned the three, and some we might have heard, but doesn't matter the particular names, uh, but they will hold themselves accountable, you know, so therefore the uprising uh, were fast as well. So, Therefore, to conclude this uh, this place, Confucius' statements, the Stephen's analytics, another place, record his statements. Guo guy, this is not good. 
means if you made a mistake and you write it, you changed it, remedied it, that is no mistake. That is, you know, so that's eventually is not a mistake. So um, then there is a this disciple of Confucius called Zi Xia. He has a statement said it's it's a person unenlightened we call it unenlightened person or the person <laughs> that is not righteous unrighteous if he made a mistake he will you you can bet he will try to carry it up he tried to 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 weed it and to to escape from the blame or the responsibility Okay, so that is uh, in Confucius. Also, there is a a statement called "Er guo." Er guo means second mistake. <laughs> means uh, second. What it means is that when you make a mistake, you don't think about to change it, write it, and you carry it up. That second action to try to carry it up. When it being found out, that is second mistake, basically. So there are places talking with Confucius' life. Anecdotes said, you know, he might uh, made a wrong comments or you know had a, made some wrong opinions, share some wrong opinions. Every time he was not defensive about it at all, he would. Confess it, so uh, <laughs> so there is a there's this anecdote. It's a little funny, reflecting his um, character a little bit as a relationship with the disciples. Um, let me look at uh, man. This messes with me. So. So basically, Confucius uh, was visiting a place called Wu Cheng. He heard. Um, I found some web results. Oh my! I can show them if you ask again. Sorry, that's my theory. Oh, so thought. Sorry for the disturbance there. So heard is uh, sure. pe people was uh, <laughs> playing very serious. Uh, Music, you know, ceremonial music. Uh, Wuchang obviously is not important the city, <laughs> so they they play this, you know, big theme music, heavy theme music, and Confucius said, basically said, "Hey, Sa Ji Ye Yong Yong Da." <laughs> this is a Chinese statement today. When say Sa Ji Ye Yong Yong Da, means that <laughs> why should I use a a butcher's knife to kill? A a chicken, the butcher knife means the butcher butchering cow, you know, so, or balls, you know. So don't need to to use that kind of knife to kill a chicken, you know. So and Zi Yu, one that one of the disciples said, uh, mm. <laughs> uh, basically, you know, uh, not refuted Confucius, but basically. Uh, you know, credited it. Confucius, you can't understand the people try to do the right thing. Confucius said, you know, it's making making fun of them. And the Confucius said, Er San Zi, hey, <laughs> hey, guys, basically, Er San Zi is guys, you know, modern day. Yan Zi Yan Shi Ya. And that means this disciple's words is right, you know, it's good. Qian Yan Shi Zi. What I said beforehand was just, you know, um, making fun, basically. You know, so, yeah. Okay. Um, anyway, 
let's fast forward to some statements of Confucius. Confucius said something to read and then translate. So the Guzi Jinzi, Guozi Gaizi, Jinzi Jinzi, Guozi Sunzi. That is the wise before Asian, from Asian time, they will right or wrong, you know, but the, today's people so called enlightened or learned wise ones, when they have something wrong, they will just accommodate it. So, and, uh, you know, just cover it up, basically. So, and go on with it. So, Guzi Junzi Qi Guo Yi Ru, Ri Yue Zi Shi, Mi Jie Jian Zi, Ji Qi Geng Ya, Mi Jie Rang Zi. Junzi Junzi, Qi Tu Sun Zi, Yu Cong Wei Zi Zi. Junzi means most likely in this setting, the rulers, okay? The people educated in light in Asian days are hard to come about, hard to be equipped like that. Most likely speaking about those in ruling, uh, a ruling class, if we will. So today you would call the politicians, whatever, you know, so the elite you called. So, and said is the, the ruling class from old times, their mistakes is like the eclipse of a sun and moon, and everybody sees it. When they changed, the everybody and admire the the change. You know, think about when the sun and moon uh, eclipsed the world for the darkness. Is is every day they can see that the phenomenon, and uh, then. In a turn from darkness into light, the obviously everybody will be more than released, but celebrate and change. Jinzi Jinzi Qi Du Xuanzi, you Cong Wei Zi Bian Zi means today's rulers, the modern will continue the rot their mistake, but also, uh, you know, make false narrative to justify it. To carry it up, silly. So, is that speaking some people today, <laughs> some class people today? I think so. Yeah. Anyway, um, therefore, this covered it up to use a false narrative. Today's we call the narrative, right? So, today we call the medium, you know, so um, to. To twist the truth, twist the principle, the ways, rather than you know um, give a solid accountability and change um, is is a very popular phenomenon and much admired virtue. Okay, in those days, so interesting culture phenomena. You know, so today you can afford to make mistakes <laughs> and the same if you confess your mistake everybody come up to turn your heart but that's not the way Asian days all you know really need and helpful community is supposed to be you know everybody going to know that they make some mistakes how to help to have a, a community able to forgive them to help them to correct it Help them to to lessen the mistakes, right? To learn righteous ways. That is obviously a uh, community love righteousness and uh, and uh, discipline what it all meant. So we we need to recognize that. Okay, so hallelujah. Now, um, so we see <laughs> this uh, use <user> eclipse <laughs> to describe. Uh, the shortcoming or the mistake of uh, a righteous people, a wise people, is very interesting, you know, so, you know, they don't last long, they will come back to the normal course shining. That's uh, uh, very important. Now, with that, today, we wrap up this section in the book called How to Attain Unto virtue, the first part in this book, we're talking about 
personal, uh, you know, practice personal virtues, or why we should do it. Here we're talking about how to get it. Then the next part, we're going to talk about, hey, <laughs> the heart and the person of a wise, a righteous person. Okay, so that is, um, uh, you know, what does this person look like? You know, so, okay. Uh, so we're going to start today from, from, from the start. Okay, so. <laughs> they, in the analytic, Jin's is 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 a wise man. I think you call it. I don't know. <laughs> wise man be good. It's in the mission many times, one hundred oh seven times actually. And then there is this uh, another word called a holy man. You know, man for holiness or secret man, whatever you call it. Is the highest ideal of a, a person, you know, so, and um, Confucius would say, a holy man on a secret, secret man, I have never chance to meet, but uh, if I able to see some wise man, that is quite okay, you know, so, <laughs> and, uh, and Mufishus laid down also talking about this holy man or virtuous man is a secret man basically. Ren Lun the Jia Ren means Lun means the I don't know how to express it very well. Is the outermost of a person's righteous life, basically. You know, so and Shen Ren Bai Shi Zi Shia, the other quote is it a secret man, a holy man, is a teacher of a hundred generations. So we can see wise man in this contest mentioned by these two major teachers in the school of thought called the Confucianism is a lower than a holy man. So in order to attain on this kind of um, worker's life, Confucius emphasize that we mentioned earlier uh, that a disciple should pursue personal virtues, should have the vision or the goal of life, um, you know, be in a noble place and not uh, seduced or tempted by the fame and the interest and hand. And in this too is basically give a division about in the Bible called, you know, those who seeking God, those who don't seek God, you know, so, so Confucius uses genes, the short and genes means wise people, if you feel wise person, short means a person, <laughs> a meanness or worthy person rather, so, and uh, the Bible continues a righteous person and a kernel person, a spiritual person, kernel person, or uh, you know a worthy person versus a kingdom seeking person, right? So um, in Proverbs, clearly talking about the, <laughs> a wise man versus a fool. So uh, so this is a kind of contrast or division uh, is very broad, but it it does in general in general terms give you an idea what kind of people God um, is interested for us to be and also for us to pursue and my so okay this is a word clear so said it basically um, the wise man is keep his vision on righteousness and a, a, a kernel man will keep the vision on self-interest. means a wise man want the rich higher ascend, you know, so, and uh, um, because there are something greater always to seek after, 
and uh, a, a colonel man <laughs> always content obviously he wanted to reach lower you know so means uh, a wise man will seek the way rather than the provision um so in terms of ascension or seeking something about yourself about this righteous this way versus uh, for self-interest or food <laughs> you know, the things of provision it's pretty speaking about what man want you know so but what is a true wise man we'll just see the here said so here he gives a word clear standard and said the virtue and uh, even word simple and plain was in a man when it overtakingly uh, it overtakes his own ability or knowledge it will appear to him being a little rough unpolished but if his knowledge education and uh, abilities overtakes his inner simple and and the plain virtue then he is showy and superficial only when these two, that is, we call it polish or education, okay, so zhi means virtue of nature, when found the proper balance and harmony, then you can call the person a wise man. So wise man is my, <laughs> my, my translation, okay, so, so there is a wisdom in a certain way being personified you know were clear characteristics right so so this is being true obviously in the bible as well that's why i have the concept of practice discipleship right so to be taught in certain way so um so in a sense today we will use uh, uh that the chinese means the form of the <laughs> the expression the you know <coughs> excuse me then the content you know like a vessel and it's then what it contained in the vessel and uh, the other places of Paul is on top of the godliness of greed again right so what a godliness means godliness is more than appearance you know but also a God, divine nature being imparted, right? So the goodness God being attained unto. Jesus also has this clear understanding. I'm just trying to do a, some parable comparison here. Talk about the, the hypocritical ways of Pharisees were like whitewashed tombs. In ancient days, people pay respect, especially when you're a little bit rich or established, you'll give a proper burial and, and uh, you know the place they bury the dead will be decorated like a horse you know so w w i don't know what they do but it's a pretty well prepared you know so and um, so people would do that basically speaking on the like a pay attention to dead man's decoration but not really Pay attention to the things supposed to be alive, you know, supposed to be. So, talking about the hypocrisy, basically. So, you know, a uh, whitewashed tomb, well decorated outside, but inside it's so full of dead man's bones. It's rot, smelly, you can imagine. So, so the people, you just use that extreme example and everyday example, talk about certain. People in his day, the Pharisees, is outstanding example, especially one continued challenge his teachings, the righteous way teachings, right? He's he's a teaching of righteousness. Why do they get upset? Why do they get jealous? Why do they, do they try to oppose him? You know, so it's because 
it challenges our um, superficial and hypocrisy ways of uh, doing life, especially the way of life in God. You know, so so comes here basically talking about we must the two must come together. You know, can you imagine you have um. Uh, a golden cup, but uh, you know inside is poison. <laughs> you know you have a, a beautiful vessel, or china, or whatever. And when you drink the soup, the soup is uh, is all bad taste. You know whatever. So okay. Um. So there are certain discussions going on. These uh, students have a uh, talking about the two coming together. Maybe it's not a challenge. The author here tries to say it's a challenge of Confucius saying, um, but I think it's more a uh, uh, more practical insight. Basically, talking about wen ah wen, the Chinese word is decoration or something have. A pattern, am I showing a pattern? You can imagine the animals, the fur, um, always have a pattern. You know, ancient days of wear fur as a clothes decorated. You know, decorated in terms of their dressing. So, um, so this Zigong, this student said, if. <laughs> <clears throat> if you get rid of the fur, <clears throat> means the external expression, the decoration. <clears throat> Excuse me. Then the skin of a tiger or leopard, whatever thing kind of, is like any other skin, like a sheep skin or goat, uh, dog skin actually. So basically, it's not a. Uh, it's the same thing, basically. You know, there may be actually we're much different today. We recognize different skin, but ancient days really wear clothes for the fur. You know, don't get rid of the fur. So, therefore, the the clothes to make um, the value and the beauty of it wears dramatically in terms of what the fur we're using. You know, so. So there are other school of thoughts called the Moors. I think you read a certain thing, you aware of their uh, teaching a little bit in that time. You you read some some books, am I right? Called the Moors, yeah, Moors, Moors. I'm not sure how they translate it. In, That's right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, Moors, yeah. And see, see more concentrate on the <laughs> what they call the. Pro 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 but the other way is uh, the concentrate is a practical value of a thing. See, you know, so so oh, the right English right. called the do we do we and I forgot this Russian name. Do we and the and the and the uh, James? I don't forgot this name. Sorry, <laughs> this morning my mind is not quite together. Uh, the term the pragmatism, pragmatism in the earlier last century. There's this philosophy called the pragmatism, right? So and. Yeah. Flourish, yeah. yeah, yeah. So basically, you know, this is school of thoughts a little pragmatism. So xian zhi hou it means you, 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 you wanted to attain on the the real thing, then decorate it. I mean, this is kind of a thing. Uh, is very much early days people argue about, <laughs> much like in you know the kind of. Uh, Things they argue back and forth really don't mean a lot, but there is a, a expression, a ideal. What a person is supposed to be, a ideal. Why does a person look like? You know. So, so Taoism also talking about zhong zhi qing wen. Uh, basically, they don't like the things educated, polished. You. They think the much learning can ruin your heart. You know that's true, so true. 
in many ways through the ages. But uh, it's amazing that in those days, <clears throat> those kind of two thoughts already argued on the nature of a true education and what it means mm. to be a good person, a wise person in a greater contest, you know, so until this is self-image or identity, this region of life is cast. I mean, we had to, in the Bible, we, we had to be cast by God and in his son, through his son to us. And that's a different way of life than religious life that has been perpetuated and propagated through the ages, you know. So we see the same um, diametrically contrast existing in Asian days in China as well. So the talking about the, the nature and the the it's hard to use a word or education. A mass nature education. You know, so some uh bigger topic would be would education or discipline later days change the nature of a man? Well, that's very big topic, you know. I is a man born good or bad? You know, the bad side of uh, human nature or human existence, human as a being, can it be changed? You know, those are huge philosophical topics. I'm extending from the reading test here. Um, but that is the Bible we see made a very solid, clear judgment on those things. Am I right? So, yeah, man is born with the sinful nature. But by faith in Christ Jesus, that nature can be eradicated. And then we can learn, conform a newborn nature, begin to spring forth in us. And as we follow that nature, follow that guidance by the Holy Spirit, the spirit of righteousness and holiness, we're able to remedy this life of sin and and uh, and the corruption. I mean, so often death is used in terms of corruption, but it's death death is is a result, is a power. So better in modern English would be called corruption, something of a good nature, of a perfect state, will be um, will recede or subject to, to degradation in a sense, okay, so um, anyway, so we can see the biblical um, from biblical the point, it was kind of a major philosophical uh, understanding for human nature and the way to deal with the human nature uh, through education discipline are settled, pretty much settled. That's the premise of a discipleship, you know, so all faith in the Son of God. But it was confusing in the days and Confucius, of, uh, one of the schools, argued about what is the proper way to bring about a proper society. And of course, is, a, is a one of those scholars or school of thoughts out there, you know, so. Um, the other school of thoughts later days talking about this, this is a big theme through ch uh, Chinese uh, history. So this author mentioned it a bit. I'm not sure the book you read, you will read more maybe. Some of the, the thoughts, Chinese thoughts through the ages. There is a one philosopher called Dong Han. This is not... Uh, this person, the author, presume everybody knows those people, but um, it didn't mention much background. This guy, basically, another scholar, about three, at least three, no, 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 five to six hundred years later. Okay, so at least I'm not sure. sure. And um, so he's saying education is very important. You should first education, then the nature will be changed. So. I don't, uh, they have some uh, very interesting statements. So, only a person is educated, then his nature will be accomplished. That's interesting. <laughs> That's more thinking about, you know, our spiritual new birth to spiritual maturity. That's actually <laughs> similar, you know, 人物文, so, 
为仆人啊。If a person is not educated, not enlightened, then he's a person. <laughs> I mean, is innocent, but not wise. Basically, you can think about Adam. You know, so versus Jesus Christ, totally different.、Um, Uh, Adam before the the fall, obviously, totally different way of means to be virtuous or making no mistake, you know. So, 人无文德不为圣贤 That if a person has no education, no virtue, he can't be, or no wisdom, if you will, he cannot be a holy man. He cannot be a wise man for sure. So. Then he said, "Everything expresses itself with a decoration, you know. So the word 文 you know, like the fur has a pattern. I don't know how you use it, you know. It's decorating basically, you know. So everything obviously has its appearance in some way, have its its decoration in a sense, you know. So like a clothes you wear, you know. So." 人以文为基 ，but a person need to, you know, build his personal life with the the education he received. Again, uh, the author again refer back this I shared with you this big a big theme, a more broad theme, a philosophical theme. Um, you know, it's obviously universal applicable in a sense in many ways. So, unconscious belief the two has to harmonize the two has together. Now, I at this point I do want to mention something before we move on the mid grades of this discussion to see using biblical verses to qualify something. Okay, so to highlight something with you before we move on to build some foundation for this kind of discussion. Turn with me. John seventeen, Gospel John seventeen, Hallelujah. Okay, let's see, Hallelujah. In fourteen, can you read it for us?、Mm-hmm. From there,、mm-hmm. mm. John seventeen verse fourteen.、Mm-hmm. <clears throat> I have given them your word, and the world has hated them, for they are not of the world any more than I am of the world. So, in the sense, a holy man, right, is set aside as a vision for life.、Mm-hmm. My prayer is not that you would take them out of the world, but that you protect them from the evil one.、Mm, you remember this. Person of me or carnality, what they want, you know. So yeah. They are not of the world, even as I am not of them. Sanctify them by the truth. Your word is truth. Hmm. Truth is not a set of doctrines. You and Jesus, right?、Mm-hmm. It's a living way. You know, it's it's a reality. You submerge into, and the found. More than expressing life, but the funds, freedom and success in it, you know, or prosperity in it. So sanctify them by the truth. Sanctify, set them apart as holy actually means, you know. So set the course of life on this vision, you know, this way. And go ahead. As you sent me into the world, I have sent them into the world. For them, I sanctify myself, that they too may be truly sanctified. So here, about the sanctification, is an education process, right? To conform, discipline yourself into a certain way of life. We call discipleship, in a sense, the teaching of a way of life. You know, so let's move on further in the chapter. Let's see. Mm. Sorry.、Uh, actually, continue. Mm-hmm. Direct continue. Mm. 
My prayer is not for them alone. I pray also for those who will believe in me through their message. So that's a wheel of teaching, am I? Wheel of life, being a teaching, become a discipleship, is it? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. So you can read the rest, but he was talking about the glory, you know, attain unto a stature that's when glory, or a certain honor, a certain subtle way, in a sense, uh, um, you know, to a certain kind of nature is a form. Paul speaking about he is a prayer labor uh, tirelessly in the midst of believers so that Christ can be fully formed in you. In Christ is the same yesterday, today, tomorrow. You know, so therefore follow the examples. So actually, let read that before we do that. Can you read 24 verse here? 17, 24 of the Gospel John. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Father, I want those you have given me to be with me where I am and to see my glory. Ah. The glory you have given me because you loved me before the creation of the world. And earlier he talked about glorify them with the glory that I give to him. All right? So the glory here, obviously not shining light, is the honor and beauty of what we have life. Am I? A certain kind of expression of life. Is that making sense to you? So, yeah. Glory here is being honored, being exalted, being respected in certain settings. It's a word, cultured world, word. You can't talk about the glory, honor without the culture, without people uh, how to interact with you. That's uh, something I think Christianity, the teaching through the ages, when talking about the glory of God, is missing, missing the whole point on this one. And so, uh, always looking at the supernatural, look at the, <laughs> I don't know, it's external, you know, so. The invisible glory God, expressing honor uh, and in righteousness, in goodness is often ignored. And that being said, I want you to turn with me to two persons, the teachings on this point. This is a biblical um, principle or biblical pattern. And then with that, we're going to examine what the author uh, was able to present from Confucius' thoughts. Okay, so first turn to with me to chapter 13. So recognize the discipleship or the teaching pass on here was not without discipleship, am I? So was was so so church, so um, some kind of flow or orderly way. How this teaching getting done? So with the thirteen chapter, turn with me to to seven now. So mm -hmm. uh, this leaders here or whatever here, let's just. Tell them teachers, okay, or those exemplify and the duty, assume the responsibility to disciple others. Is that making show out of the way, basically? So, mm -hmm. John 7. John 13, verse 7. No, it's like <coughs> Hebrew 13, 7, sorry. Oh. We're talking about the Hebrews, yeah. Paul and Peter was the proof person I'm going to talk about. Mm -hmm. Uh, Hebrews 13, verse 7. Remember your leaders or teachers who spoke the word of God to you. Expound the Consider word of God the to you. Yeah, expound, am I? Jesus is talking about the, mm -hmm. share the message, share the teaching, you know, make the word known. Mm -hmm. Consider the outcome of their way of life and imitate their faith. Ah, their way of life, huh? Jesus Christ is the same yesterday and today and forever. So the teaching remains the same, all right? The way of life is the same. Am I making sense to you? So, yeah. Nine now, talking about this. Mm -hmm. Do not be carried away by all kinds of strange teachings. Ah, it's a will of teaching, all right? So, it's our kind of teaching. So, anyway, look at this one. The second one is very revealing because the same theme 
All of in the Bible. So look at this one. Well. Mm -hmm. Finish the uh, nine. Keep reading. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It is good for our hearts to be strengthened by grace, not by eating ceremonial foods, which is of no benefit to those who do so. Ha! Ah, ceremonial food is a way external, am I? When the food you eat. Paul in other place because the kingdom of God is a righteous and a peace of joy in the Holy Spirit, but not the food you drink, am I? So, yeah. Just, so, not the eternals, you know? So, yeah. And, uh, hallelujah. Um, then, 17. So, this have a, some kind of establishment, not for <laughs> hierarchy, uh, but for culture building. Is that making sense to build this way whole life can be nurtured and flow together from one um, uh, one group of people to another, or if one generation to another, if you need it. So, 17 now. Mm -hmm. Have confidence in your leaders and submit to their authority. Because they keep watch over you as those who must give an account. Ah, accountability, right? So, mm -hmm. Do this so that their work will be a joy, not a burden. That would be of no benefit to you. Mm. So, accountability is a build after your little heart, with, oh, upon your little heart, or without it. It's interesting, huh? Yeah, thinking about it. True accountability was always a healthy flow, and right? So, yeah. Mm. In modern day thinking, accountability is about you don't do wrong, and right? So, if you do, done something wrong, let's make that some kind of punishment or consequence for it. Yeah. Is that what accountability is supposed to be exercised as a norm? So, it's definitely needed. You know, so like a boundary line for someone, you know, so don't cross the boundary line. But is that really about not crossing a boundary line? Or you enjoy the things should be enjoyed within the boundary line. Make it sense to you, you know, be established in it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, everybody build a horse. Why you build a wall around? <laughs> Interesting. You know, so thinking about it. You build a farm. Why you, why you send fences around? Or build a garden the same way. Why you send fences around? So it, it's really just not f for things not moving in, attack it. Maybe it's a provide a safe environment for things to flourish, am I? So yeah, so outside influence don't come in and go as a free I think. Is that making sense to you? You know, so yeah. Yeah, so uh you know, oftentimes we think uh, think about it this build some wall around your home instead. You know. We have Western movies, am I? Most of the early days the settlers were not able to build anything of that nature just city a town so the <laughs> the, the bandits or whatever the you know whatever people don't necessarily um, um, have good intent they get to come at you and rob you anytime right so but when you see you build a wall around around what I have defense around uh, you know, so suppose it's not the town, it's a family. The children are going to roam around. You know, often children will say, why can't it go far? Why can't it come back home at a certain time? When you grow up, you feel that's a restriction. You know, you don't essentially feel it's, a, it's for safety's sake. Until you're hurt and terrified by outside of the world. You know, think about the wolf chasing you. Think about a bandit trying to to loot you, whatever. So, and you know, suddenly you understand the importance that, uh, of the uh, of a walled home, a walled city, a walled town. You know, so it's interesting. The human nature sometimes we don't necessarily understand this kind of concept. It's very hard than being a yielded ship in a place where it needed to be. Am I right? so? I emphasize this because in greater contest today, 
in Christianity. All those basic setups and premises for spiritual growth eh, and ministry are being torn down and most time mis mis misconstrued, either on personal terms or totally subject to to useless um, arguments. You know, with that, another two scriptures that we wrap up today. So I want to read. Uh, 20 here, 13, 20 here, to, to 21, so, yeah. Mm -hmm. And may the God of peace, who through the blood of the eternal covenant, brought back from the dead our Lord Jesus, that great shepherd of the sheep, equip you with everything good for doing his will. And may he work in us what is pleasing to him, through Jesus Christ, to whom be the glory forever and ever. Amen. Work in us, am I? So it's a nature, am I? Nature change. Let's turn to Second Peter now, first chapter, starting with uh, two. Then uh, read it until yeah, <laughs> until fifteen. So yeah. Grace and Actually, I'm sorry. Let's read the whole chapter. <laughs> sorry, so yeah. yeah. Okay. From from two. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Grace and peace be yours in abundance, through the knowledge of God and of Jesus our Lord. His divine power has given us everything we need for a godly life, through our knowledge of Him who called us by His own glory and goodness. Through these, he has given us his very great and precious promises, so that through them you may participate in the divine nature, having escaped the corruption in the world caused by evil desires. For this very reason, make every effort to add to your faith goodness, and to goodness knowledge, and to knowledge self-control, and to self-control perseverance, and to perseverance, godliness, and to godliness, mutual affection, and to mutual affection, love. For if you possess these qualities in increasing measure, they will keep you from being ineffective and unproductive in your knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. But whoever does not have them is nearsighted and blind, forgetting that they have been cleansed from their past sins. Therefore, my brothers, make every effort to confirm your calling and election. For if you do these things, you will never stumble. So calling, a rich welcome. calling election has anything to do with the world establishment or some kind of mission accomplished? It's a word general, am I? What it is? It's a life Christ, am I? His divine nature being given in us, within us. Is that making sense to you? So, yeah. Mm. Go ahead. And you will receive a rich welcome into the eternal kingdom of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. There you go. That's a fulfillment that calling election. Is that making sense to you? So mm -hmm. yeah. So it's the internal kingdom then calling a election is being accomplished. The hope of glory. The hope of glory. So mm. So I will always remind you of these things, even though you know them and are firmly established in the truth you know how. I think it is right to refresh your memory as long as I live in the tent of this body. Because I know that I will soon put it aside, as our Lord Jesus Christ has made clear to me. And I will make every effort to see that after my departure, you will always be able to remember these things. These things. Wow, there's no talking about the cast demons up. How to heal the sick. How to, how to see angels. <laughs> how to prophesy. Is that making sense to you? you know, so, yeah. It's not the gifts realm. None of those gifts are those uh, supernatural abilities given. But a uh, true abilities are given, and it's really supernatural. That is the partaking of eternal life. Be conformed <laughs> into the image, like in this Christ Jesus. Is that making sense to you? So, yeah. Mm. Mm. <clears throat> for we 
did not follow cleverly devised stories when we told you about the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ in power, but we were eyewitnesses of his majesty. He received honor and glory from God the Father when the voice came to him from the majestic glory, saying, This is my Son, whom I love. With him I am well pleased. We ourselves heard this voice that came from heaven when we were with him on the sacred mountain. We also have the prophetic message as something completely reliable, and you will do well to pay attention to it as to a light shining in a dark place until the day dawns and the morning star rises in your hearts. Above all, you must understand that no prophecy of scripture came about by the prophet's own interpretation of things. The prophecy never had its origin in the human will. The prophets, though human, spoke from God as they were carried along by the Holy Spirit. Mm. Hallelujah. I might did a, a poor comparison or allusion here, but this is so important to see <laughs> a similar kind of righteous way of life. And my son is uh, in the context of Jesus Guru teaching, but with the Christ Jesus King, uh, New Testament, the teachings is more clarified. We know exactly what this righteous man look like. Am I this wise, godly man look like? Because we have a living person and there is being testified and being given to the world through the disciples and their teaching passed on to us. Uh, we call the pastor the teachings. We see a pattern, right? This is quite the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow. That discipleship should be the same, I might teach the same hope, same faith, and same way of life. With that, no one want you ramp out of philosophy's prayer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. Lord, it is in our hearts, I think in every one of us, to attain unto that righteousness, Lord, mm -hmm. to see that life of holiness be made manifest in us mm. and lord much of that work begins with a a destruction of and cleansing away of anything that would impede that work mm. uh, certainly the life of the fleshly nature and uh, everything in between but even deeper lord a cleansing of that idea, that lesser idea of what it means to be holy and virtuous, mm. uh, which tends to be informed by the wisdom of this world, mm. but is really rooted in self and in pride. Mm. And Lord, wherever that remains in us, whether there's a root of it in us or even a, a, a shred of it in us, Lord, may you, as David said, Lord, Speak and uh, search for in us any way that would be in anything in us that would be offensive to you, Lord, mm. and any presumptuous sin, mm. um, Lord. For we we cannot have those things mm. to remain in us to grow in a life of righteousness. Mm. But Lord, this life is wonderfully something that is on the one hand uh, predestined by you mm. for you indeed say that a righteous man's steps are foreordained by God mm. and on the other it is a thing that is always in the present in mm. the now Lord as we mm. uh, with every passing moment learn mm. to uh, Lord, to live in that flow of your spirit, mm. no longer resisting your ways, but walking mm. in them. Mm. And Lord, it is our, our joy to be conformed mm. to your likeness, Lord. Uh, mm -hmm. As our, our hearts mm. uh, and the focus and direction of our spirits uh, 
begin to tend towards eternal things. Mm-hmm. Lord, as we even read earlier, uh, your, your prayer, Jesus, was not that we may uh, leave the world, mm. uh, but Lord, that we may be found uh, in you, just mm-hmm. as you are in the Father. Man. And Lord, to ever be in that place. Mm. And Lord, it is the great aspiration mm. and even the great satisfaction of our hearts and spirits when we realize that just as you were in your example, Jesus, Mm. uh, the word made flesh, Mm. Lord, so we too begin to see that that word coming to life in us. And so, Mm. uh, Lord, we we bless that work in your people Mm. and we we pray for one another Mm. and our spiritual development and progress Mm. in that light. In Jesus' name. In Amen. Jesus' name. Hey. <laughs> Bless the Lord. Hey, I listened to your discussion. Mm. Spiritual progress with the, the young ones. Yeah. I really enjoyed it. Bless <laughs> <Yes>. the <laughs> Lord. Good discussions. Yeah. yeah. You guys. Yeah, can, Go ahead. I'm very glad that we're very quickly, uh, mm. or the other, the other young men are beginning to connect to the, the book a little bit more understand it's opening up to them a little bit better especially isaac uh yeah so that's good some were i was thinking it might be a little dense for us but it's actually turning out to to be we're good pretty, yeah yeah pretty fruitful yeah <laughs> we're fruitful well bless you noah take care of yourself yeah. okay so, hey yeah. I, I, uh, uh-huh. i'm surprised you didn't have any um critiques on my poem i thought you're you're gonna have a lot of <laughs> <laughs> suggestions for it i don't really like it very